Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK and today I will play more Heart of the Emberstone, the gallery episode 2. I made a 2 with my hands, but you can't see that. Um, I'm starting here because I just wanted to say real quick that um, I actually haven't put up any of the other parts that I recorded yet, but it's been like two months since I've played this. There's been a variety of reasons why I haven't been playing this, uh, a good amount of it being because I was physically unable to. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to bounce back into this and please be patient, patient with me. I was already having a hard enough time playing this when I just started and now I gotta basically start fresh. So, let's, uh, let's get back to this. I'm in the Tower of Cogs. You made it to the Tower of, of Cog. Now get yourself a grasp. Oh, here I am. I was like, where where am I? I remembered stopping over there. So that's why I was a wee bit confused. I think yeah, I shocked you. I'm sorry, bro. Um, what have I done? Hey, the things aren't flying around. Did this save Prior to my- why is it so, like, twitchy? Is that my phone? You probably heard my phone. I'm not going to where to silence it, I'm sorry. Impossible to control. Don't touch this. That- yeah, that shocked you last time. I don't know if this is after I've already touched it or not, I really don't know. Um... Can't grab that. Alright, I don't think I've read any of these books, so... Notes on the reach. Oh, this isn't... This is like just... Like Ariel or something. It's not... All of the notes and everything so far have been an agent. Um, anyway, notes on the reach. Sarah says that she is not cruel like Mother and has gone to great lengths to appeal to the mob. It will not work. My sister refused the projectile enhancements to her gauntlet. Uh, in a foolhardy attempt to appear approachable, or to be loved in, in her- oh yeah, or to be loved, period. In her need for adoration, in her weakness, I find opportunity. I find a sim- I f have simulated the offensive capabilities of the gauntlet in my design for the grasp. Once enhanced, pull back the focusing iron on the device, aim, and release the built-up energy. That's what- that thing is, I think. Uh, once fired, a powerful projectile will emanate from the device, destroying everything in its path. Sebastian. How foolish Sarah was to leave the power behind in the underlayer. She still fails to understand the nature of the mob. Those idiots live to be controlled, and only in that state of control do they find contentment. Sarah will discover the folly of her ways soon enough when the mob chooses a new power to lead them. You see how the text is like not fitting properly. I think that's an error. I think it's supposed to be an agent. I don't know what's up with that. Let's see what this book's in. What font? Say so, no, this is still like Ariel or whatever. Notes on security. It seems that one of Sarah's attendants has infiltrated my group of noble creators and has been tampered with I mean, it has been tampering with my study door lock. This tower, by design, is far too open to be locked down in any significant manner. I must create a more specific deter deterrent to keep my study safe. In the end, I have installed a layer of security over my study lock, and that only my grasp may be bypassed. Only one with a grasp may counter the power fluctuations coming from the lock's hidden energy source. I admit that this added measure is not a foolproof design, but it will require for the- it will work for the short time we require. Sebastian again. My device ensures devastating results to anyone foolish enough to attempt a breach. I admit, I am curious to discover who this infiltrator might be. While well, I generally abhor- abhor- uh, violence in the tower. No one should be touching my things. I will keep my sister ignorant to my most fragile plans, no matter the cost. By the way, has it been established that this is a gauntlet? 
or am I am I completely making stuff up? Okay, scary weird guy. Uh, there you are. His name is Sebastian, the creepy guy in the star seed. His name is Sebastian. It's, Whatever he was building, it's not this looks like he's keeping it pretty close to his chest. What the hell happened here? Why is it this he guy? Behind? And most importantly, what does he want with me? With us? Okay. So, oh, he works now. Cool. Um, it's not that guy, is it? I mean, it's kind of a similar outfit, but he doesn't have the, like, fuzzy arm. I, I don't know, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm misremembering things. Did I read this one? I don't think so. What is it called? Chamber. I began experiment, uh, uh, experimenting on William, my test gog. I guess that's him. And he proved to be the strongest of his gain. William, or when he proved... To William is a small specimen, but he possesses an intense desire to survive, a trait I deeply admire. I have spent endless cycles trying to force William into a state of simple obedience, but he will not break. All forms of extreme pain conditioning seem to be ineffective on these creatures. Nothing, it seems, pierces their unfettered dri uh, drive to feed. Of note is that, while Rizgogs are impossibly dumb, they appear to be fiercely loyal. One shout from a gog will cause its game to flock to the cry. This has been useful. Okay, yeah, so this is before I shocked it because there's none of the Riz gogs outside. That explains why they showed up. I have used the gog flocking behavior to my advantage while testing my first generation reach ballistic upgrade. Um, act, act, la, la. Activate the chamber to force a call for my pet and summon his gang from their cliffside nest. Even in the face of death, death, William's gang refuses to leave him behind. A curious gog weakness. All right, so hey, hey, buddy, William, is it? Poor thing. Oh, hey, there she is. There's her hand, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not test that. I don't think you're technically supposed, supposed, I can't do two fingers, um, to do that, but... Boop. Boop. Uh, I didn't read it. happened here, Hell? All those people, they're like crispified corpses. It's like someone turned off a tap and all the life here just dried up. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I am not going to turn into human jerky. No way, Jose. I'm finding a grasp and getting the hell out of here as fast as I can. Okay, so, these gear locks are simple enough. They're like that game concentration. You just gotta be quick. Oh man, oh man, this place just gives me the willies. What did this one say? Grasp and... I'm Gonzo? What was that? What was that? That was a... Ugh. Yeah, poor guy! He's in basically like a flying Iron Maiden. Okay, um... Okay, okay, okay. So... Um... Let's check out this thing first. I forgot which hand to use. Oh, It's this thing, that's right. Uh, so, okay. I think that's progress. Oops! No? I figured that would be this, because... Unless... No? I don't like these sounds at all. Okay, I guess we're doing this thing. Ugh, this place gives me the willies. How do I do this? I... I don't remember. Oh! That's right. Uh, crap. You, um, um, you. There's so many to keep track of. You, uh, you, uh, you, and- ah! Okay. 
Uh, you, and you, and you! <sighs> okay. Okay. Um. Whew. I'm moving forward. Radio Shack doesn't exist anymore, honey. There must be a way to charge this. I say conveniently under my breath. Oh. Uh. So many noises. I don't like it. What's over here? It's a light. And. Oh. Nope, not supposed to go out there. Okay. So, I gotta charge this. Looks like there's a place for the gauntlet right there. If I'm calling it the right thing, I feel like I'm not, but I hope I am. Hey. I hate these noises. I feel so alone in here. And that actually kind of gives me security at the same time because. I don't want anybody or thing to be in here with me. Okay. Oh, hey. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> she has no right to tell us how to use our rations. Hey, you're not special. Not essential. So we sleep without heat tonight. Must pass the grasp. All of you. Get to the temple to claim your rations. The grasp comes alive tonight. There's a book over there. Um, what do I do with this? Um. <laughs> okay, second one. Oh, a book though. Um, can I put this down? Nope, it's stuck. Then how do I read this? Shatter the illusion. Sarah has them all fooled. The mob down below. That weak, undulating mass of human flesh will follow any who state their sates their thirst. The queen has the mob believing in her magic. An ancient mythical power passed from mother. But I suspect those fools will regret their years of blind trust when I break that illusion. Soon I will break the spell that has those... Dollards, do, do, dollards, like doll, doll people, dollards, dollards, transfixed, transfixed, transfixed. Oh my gosh, you are the worst. I will open their engine and reveal my sister's power to be that of a wretch, a tortured gog of another sort. Once the mob discovers the horrific reality behind Sarah's illusion, they will look for a new shepherd to lead them a new power to obey and who will be left to fill the void who will understand the needs of the desperate who will explain to the fools how the world really works and show them which way is up i will i will tear such a wound in their reality that the mob will look desperately for the truth and i will be that truth i will be their guiding light bye okay um a book over here and scary clipboard things. The grasp. What is V4 plus reach star seed wheatstone mother's hand? By the way, I'm sorry about how shaky my hand is. Um, I'm gonna blame that on my pots. I have a very shaky grasp because of it, but um. I guess that's just like a fake gauntlet? Emergency flow spark locations. Oh! That's the thing! That's the thing I couldn't figure out! Um, um, hmm. Okay, uh. 
uh, backup flow sparks in the aquifer and reformer power to open and retrieve. That doesn't tell me anything. Uh, let's read this one first before we get the one underneath. Notes on the injector. The grasp injector can fit a single grasp to a single hand by draining one fully charged cell. My sister has become suspicious of my work and is rationing our power. In response, I will push ahead our plans to complete the solar engine. We will power the grasp rollout and liberate ourselves. To test the injector, I have sent my creators to the temple to, re uh, to receive their daily rations of power. Sarah is understandably worried and has begun asking the real questions. She has been dancing around for years. She is worried of my growing power to the sciences. I am impressed that she recognizes that threat. I will go to the temple. Is that the place that I was at before that I got fully charged my cell? Is that what this is? and test the injector on myself. Oh, that's lovely. I alone can secure a full charge cell because, because of that royal, I still retain that dignity at least. My sister might question me, but she wouldn't dare stop me. Oh, how I would like to see her try. That's an interesting, oh, it's not a screwdriver. Let's Oh, this is like a pump pipe wrench. This is like a regular wrench. What is this? This uh, crap, crap, crap. Um. Ooh. Hey. Hammer. And um, scary thing. Looks like a torture device. Get away from me. The cell. It's a big old, old battery. It's a big old battery. Fill her up with juice. Her pedestal. The same symbols. This these things? I'm kind I'm trying to point, but it's not a thing. Um Oh, like these things, they have to match up. Oh, look, there's that line. Like in the okay. Um Near Beaver Fever Lady. Beaver Fever Lady goes right into uh, something super glowy. Oh, super glowy. Okay. Connected to the embers. Uh, play the song connected to the ember engine. Hopefully I remember that. I'm going to have to come back here. Um. So, I'm going to assume that that is immediately what I have to do. I have, I can't do anything else because this thing's dead. But then when it's finished, does it go here? Yeah, I think so. But for now, I gotta head back. Let's go. I'm just waiting for the door to open and there being someone on the other side. I was promised by my brother that there are no living people, only holograms. Even so, if it were a hologram outside the door, I'd probably flip out. So he's still in there. Doesn't look like there's anything for- Oh, nope, there's a book. Never mind, I will be in there. I forgot about that thing. I, like the, I do like the look of this place. This place looks cool. Um. Ah yes, here we go. The Queen's Palace, I think that's... It, wait, Starseed and Culling Grounds? Was that there before? Yeah, no, there's three things. That's where, how I got here. I was, that was the first place I was at, but I think I gotta go to the Queen's Palace. Wait, come on. How do I... How do I... Wait. I'm an idiot. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I could've put that in my backpack the entire time. Wait. Ah! 
Oh, you have to hold it. Hello, I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Okay, cool, I'm here. I'm directly here. Um, Beaver Fever. What is Beaver Fever? I remember, I remember reading something from Ellie about beaver fever. Um, is this where? No. No, right? Yes? Maybe? Uh, bunk? No, it's too, it's too big. I mean, too small. This is too small. That's too big. Oh, hey, 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 hey. So I was totally right. I couldn't do anything here because I need this. Right? Is this? <gasps> ah! All right, you. Ah! Let's get some magic power stuff into this super weird space battery. Huh. One day I'm gonna go on to tell the truth and I'm gonna blow some minds. Okay. It's in. Taller now than what? me? Yeah, you're taller than me. That's the machines which <laughs> keep us alive are fueled by Same. the Ember engine. The engine can only be lulled awake through song. But these days, that has been proving itself difficult. What will happen to us when it remains asleep forever? The heck does that mean? Well, that was informative. So when I said, Ellie, we're, th we're on the same page here. Okay, so, was it this one I could control? Or this one? One of those I could control, couldn't I? There's that big thing I have no idea what to do with. Okay, so Son, and I remember that Ellie said something about a Son. This one. Yeah, it was this one. I don't know what that does. Thanks for the apple. Ugh. I already read all these books, but I don't remember what any of them said, so I'm gonna take a quick, quick glance. See if there's anything informative. Okay, well, that was kind of what I figured. We have to move the things. Not you. you. I remember messing with this last time, but I couldn't quite figure out what I needed to do. I still have no idea what this giant ball is for. Which I just accidentally moved. Great, great. Um... Ellie said something about these symbols. I can't... What is that ball for? So, I need more of these boxes, don't I? I couldn't find any, though. Regardless of if it's up or down, it still looks like it's flowing water, whatever this is. Um, this one I can't move because that's what controls it. This one, I, the only one I can move is the inner one. Um, it looks like, well, that's already connected. So maybe I don't need to move the other ones? Let's see if we can make a direct line from here to there. Doesn't seem like it did anything. What do I need to do with you? Um, maybe I should try reading more books. Son. Wait, where are these?
was kind of make a song. You hear that? It does sound kind of like a song. Okay, I'm not near a wall, so that's fine. Ah, crap. I just hit myself in the headset, though. Doing anything? <sighs> Darn it, that's on it then. Um, same things are over here. Let's see what the book says. Huh? Okay, go back there. I wonder. I feel like I am totally missing something. There must be something. Anything. What? Oh, that's right. I'm an idiot. This thing came down. I completely forgot about it. Is up here. The engine songs were passed down through the generations. As my mother learned through my grandfather's hands, I learned through hers. I know it's silly, but I always thought that one day I would pass the songs down to my own. Turns out, none of us get to live the lives we want. I'm sorry. Hey, look, colors. Like, I mean, different colors. No, 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 I don't want you. Okay, I'll read this first. Stop. Melodies of life. I watched Mother insert a crystal into the harp, which I think is that. That, like, that, that purple one's gonna go in the purple thing there. I don't know where the blue and red are, but... Stop. I watched Mother insert a crystal into the harp to initiate. I saw in her frail hands float gracefully through the beams of light and drew power no powerful notes from the ancient device. In a rare moment of gentleness, she guided my hands through the motions. The crystals are, record are recordings that I have made to guide you, Mother said, playing the sad melody. Protect these crystals that I leave behind. Protect them as if they mean everything. I nervously turned from her, afraid that I would not be able to play the songs as gracefully as she. Come, Mother said, forcefully turning my body to the instrument. Follow my hands and put these notes to heart. Scoffing at my apprehens apprehension, she tried her best to calm my fears. I did not pass you the gauntlet because I thought you smart. I turned Sebastian away because you do what you are told. I learn. Stay. Holograms are rad! Huh. I read one of those tech book doohickeys and it said that these holograms are moments from the past. Your gauntlet will show you what you need to see. Well, that's certainly convenient. Suspiciously convenient. Wait a tick! Gauntlet! I need to see David Hasselhoff naked, covered in puppies. <laughs> no? <laughs> ah, I can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're great. You first. Three crystals. Back off, I don't need you. Three crystals. Mother told me how the crystals contain melodies she once heard coming from the Ember engine. The link between the engines and these melodies I have yet to discover. And perhaps I never will. What I know is that without these melodies, we would sh sh slowly perish. The melodies live within three crystals. The purple melody crystal, the weakest of the three, which is right behind me, should be played before the others. The song will cause the ember engine to release energy, but has little stamina. The blue melody, the more powerful of the two, uh, can sustain a longer release of energy and should be used sparingly to activate the life-giving machinery. 
The red melody, Mother said, should never be played. It is important that you keep the red crystal safe. If you trust anyone with it, I promise you will live to regret it. Mother swore that if the red melody was played, it would destroy us all. One wonders why she would even keep it. All right, so you're the one I need. I mean, I was right up. Sorry, I was right up next to. Passion.